Shalom. So today we are going to learn about the elements of poetry. So poetry is a form of literary expression characterized by its use of language to evoke emotions, create vivid imagery, and convey complex ideas through carefully crafted and structured verses or lines. Poetry has a rich historical significance that spans across cultures and time periods. Many poets have used their craft to comment on and critique political and social issues of their time. Its enduring appeal lies in its ability to capture the essence of human experience and emotion. So let's review imagery. Imagery in poetry is a powerful literary device that involves the use of vivid and descriptive language to create sensory experiences for the reader. It's a way for poets to paint pictures with words, appealing to the reader's senses and emotions. Imagery is a key element in poetry because it allows readers to connect with the text on a deeper level by visualizing, hearing, smelling, tasting, or feeling the sensations described in the poem. By engaging multiple senses, imagery allows readers to connect with the poem on a personal level. So figurative language. Figurative language adds depth to a poem by allowing for multiple full layers of interpretation. Metaphors and symbols, for example, can represent more than one idea simultaneously, inviting readers to explore different facets of the poem's meaning. Figurative language can draw attention to a poem's central theme or messages by emphasizing specific elements or comparisons. It can make the underlying message more memorable and impactful. Figurative language allows poets to escape literal expressions and create unique original descriptions and narratives. Rhyme. Rhyme is the similarity or correspondence of sounds in the final stressed syllables and sometimes preceding unstressed syllables of two or more words. These words are typically found at the end of lines in a poem, but they can also appear within the lines. Rhyme establishes connections between words and ideas, enhancing the overall co cohesion of the poem. Rhyme also it reinforces the thematic and emotional elements of the poem. Rhythm. Rhythm in poetry refers to the pattern of stressed and unstressed syllables in a line of verse. It's like the heartbeat or the pulse of the poem, and it is created through metrical patterns. Common meters include iambic, pentameter, and trochaic tetrameter. Rhythm conveys emotions and moods through the cadence of and flow of words. Rhythm also helps structure the poem, providing a sense of order and organization. Sound devices. So sound devices enhance the auditory dimension of poetry, allowing readers to appreciate the musicality of language and the emotional results that arise from the interplay of sound and Common sound devices used in poetry include alliteration, repetition of consonant sounds at the beginning of words, assonance, repetition of vowel, vowel sounds within words, and consonants, repetition of consonant sounds within words, and onomatopoeia, words that mimic sounds. These devices add depth and texture to the poem, making it a multi-sensory experience. Poetic form. Poetic form refers to the structure and organization of a poem. 
including elements such as rhyme, scheme, meter, line length, fantastic uh, arrangement, and overall structure. Each form has its own set of rules and conventions, and these forms can significantly influence the meaning and impact of a poem. The placement of line breaks determines the flow and pacing of a poem. A well-chosen line break can emphasize certain words or ideas, create suspense, or draw attention to a particular image or moment. Stanza breaks signal shifts in thought, theme, or mood. They provide structure and can help organize a poem's content. Tone and mood. So tone refers to the author's attitude or emotional stance toward the subject matter or audience of the poem. It can be conveyed through the poet's choice of words, phrasing, and style. Mood refers to the emotional atmosphere or ambiance created by the poem. It represents the feelings and emotions the poem evokes in the reader. Mood is a product of tone, imagery, and subject matter. Symbolism. Symbolism is a literary device where an object, person, place, action, or word is used to represent a deeper or abstract meaning beyond its literal definition, for example. The phoenix is a mythical bird that is said to rise from its own ashes, symbolizing rebirth and renewal. Symbols can evoke emotions, convey themes, and add layers of complexity to a poem. By using familiar symbols in creative ways, poets can add layers of complexity to their work, inviting readers to explore and connect with the poem on a profound level. Theme. The element of theme is in poetry is a fundamental aspect that contributes to the poem's meaning and overall message. A theme in poetry represents the central idea or insight that the poet wishes to convey to the reader. It is the underlying concept or subject matter explored throughout the poem. The theme provides a unifying focus and poets use it to explore and communicate a wide array of human experiences, emotions, and truths. So now there are two activities I would like you to work on. The first activity is choose a poem. Any poet that is your favorite will do. Examine the use of imagery and figurative language, for example, metaphor, simile, personification. Discuss how these devices enhance the reader's sensory experience and understanding of the poem's theme. Remember, you are the reader in this activity. So how is the, how are these devices enhancing your sensory experience? And how is it helping you to understand the poem's themes? Second activity, write a short poem, 10 to 15 lines, on a theme of your choice. Incorporate at least one sound device. So for example, rhyme, alliteration, assonance, and one figurative language device. So metaphor or simile, for examples, there's others, into your poem. Be sure to pause this video where needed and take your time and work on it, all right? Make sure to add details. Don't forget your name and the date. Shalom. Thawada for listening. Uh, feel free to ask me any questions uh, that you have uh, related with the activities or any of the lesson materials that you learned today. Shalom. Sure.